joining me for a special DC TV 23 weekly update. Interview, special interview. I'm so excited to present this one to you with our recreation superintendent for Douglas County, Chad Griffin. Thank you so much, sir, for joining me. Thank you, Rick, for having me on today. Really appreciate this uh, virtual experience uh, because it really sets the tone for exactly what's happening with us as we're facing the coronavirus pandemic. You know, we have some special news to share with the public, and I'm so glad you've been able to make time to join us. A few questions regarding the reopening of the Boundary Waters Aquatic Center. Okay. What is Boundary Waters Aquatic Center doing to minimize the risk of COVID-19 as it reopens to the public? Well, Rick, um, during this pandemic, I think we've been shut down now for about three months. Ooh, and, during yeah. this, and during this time, we have actually um, gone in and actually cleaned the facility really well, done a deep cleaning uh, during this time frame. Um, also, when we open back up on the 29th, we are going to have a deep cleaning in the morning right before we open. Uh, we're going to have a like a mid-afternoon deep cleaning and then we'll have a you know shut down deep cleaning. So um, you won't have to worry about, if you come swimming, you won't have to worry about the facility being clean, everything will be wiped down and cleaned off. Uh, we're also gonna do temperature checks. So when you come into Boundary Waters, you will be at, you know, we'll, we will take your temperature and you'll have to si sign a waiver to actually come in and swim. And um, when, you, when you visit Boundary, the, the actual facility, you'll enter through the front and we'll have you exit through the back door. Wow, to minimize any um, coming into contact with other people as well. Yes, sir. Wow, so that's great. So what I'm hearing is temperature checks. Yes, sir. Uh, deep cleaning three times uh, throughout um, and in preparation and your reopening on June 29th. Yes, sir. June 29th is the, is the day we are looking forward to. All right, all right. And I'm sure the public is too because I've been receiving calls regarding that. So thank Every you. Day. Thank you, sir. I know we have some probably some other questions too people would want to answer that I'd love to to ask if that's okay. Okay. Sure, super. So what are the new rules and procedures for uh, citizens to use the facility in light so, of the situation? Okay, so when they actually come into the facility, we're, you know, we're requiring that everybody wear a mask. And I think that's countywide, uh, you know, from the chairman. Uh, we are only gonna have 12 lanes open uh, for the entire facility. Usually you come in and as you know, we have the instructional pool that's kind of, you know, free swim. And then we have the comp pool, which is more lap swim. So uh, for our first phase, we're actually going to only, we're going to do 12 lanes and it's going to be lap swim only. And um, so you'll, to do that, you'll have to reserve, you can call in and reserve a lane, you know, or you can actually go online to uh, DouglasCountyParks.com and register for lane space that way as well. Um, we don't have to sign a waiver when you come to swim. Uh, just, you know, just uh, keeping everybody safe that way. Totally and understand. Just, yeah, that's right. Uh, we, uh, you know, I mentioned the waiver. And um, when you come swim, like I mentioned, we're only going to have 12 lanes open. And that's, we're going to stick to one person per lane, unless you come with your family and we'll take up to three in a family in one lane. Wow. Okay. That's great. That's great. I really appreciate it. And it's good details, you know, that, that you're sharing with that. You know, Boundary Waters Aquatic Center uh, has is really known through uh, the county and its citizens for a number of programs. Are there, in light of, you know, reopening, are there any programs and services that may be available to the public um, in addition to just swimming uh, in the lanes, in the lap lanes or, right. or no? Um, during this phase one that we created, uh, we're going to hold off on holding any type of programs, and that's uh, water-based and land-based. So we're just going to stick to lap swim only during this phase. And once this phase is lifted, or once we get we feel you know comfortable moving on, we'll lift that restriction. That is good to know, man. That really helps answer uh, some questions that I can almost anticipate we will get once the reopening occurs. Right. You know, so tell me a little bit, uh, uh, Chad, how will the lifeguard staff handle emergencies in regards to the pandemic? OK, um, like I said, uh, we've been bringing, you know, we've been working through through this through the shutdown. And actually this past week, um, 
we actually brought the lifeguards in and we're putting them through training um, over the phase that we created, over the phase one phase that we created. So they're going through training. They're actually retraining themselves and getting, you know, back in, um, you know, like water shape or lifeguard shape, I guess you could say. And just yeah. kind of, you know, getting used to the facility again and that kind of thing. And we actually, we're going to use our lifeguards to do a lot of the cleaning and doing the temperature checks. So they will be prepared and ready for um, any incident that may happen or may, you know, may go on during during that opening, first opening. And that's great to know. And if anybody, you know, who has a temperature of 100.4, right. uh, you know, they, they sadly, you know, will be yes, allowed. Sir. Right. Right, right. That's good. That's good. What will the hours be during the first phase of reopening? During the first phase of reopening, we're going to stick to an eight to five uh, schedule at the facility, and it'll only be Monday through Friday. So eight to five, Monday through Friday. Okay, Monday through Friday. That's good. So we're slowly reopening. Yes, sir. You know, as as we're getting along and adapting to to everything. What has staff been doing during the shutdown? to prepare for the reopen. Uh, I know you talked about cleaning, but was there anything right. else? Yep, we were tasked with creating the phase the phase one opening. And uh, it took us several weeks to get that nailed down and get it approved with the waivers and you know that kind of thing. So during that time, we've been working on that. We've been, uh, GRPA, which is Georgia Recreation and Park Association, they've actually put out trainings for you know recreation professionals and uh, we've been doing a lot of that. And the chamber also provided some free training sessions that we could go on and, you know, work on our leadership skills and communication skills, that type of thing. Great, great. Wow. Well, you provided a lot of detailed information, not only to me here as well as, you know, for this to share with our public. Right. And, uh, the public has a lot of uh, time and opportunity to, you know, listen to this over and again. We're going to have it on our website, CelebrateDouglasCounty.com website, and our Douglas County Facebook happenings page as well. And uh, we're promoting it on our happenings email newsletter so people are aware that they can come and view this and right. on our YouTube channel. Uh, Chad Griffin, I can't thank you enough for joining us for this special uh, interview uh, on the Boundary Waters Aquatic Center. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me.